back back to back to I wasn't excited about Fallout 4. Uh yeah. The I wasn't excited about Fallout 4 and then um the Bethesda press conference came. It was the first time so great. It was a great great press conference. It was the first time Bethesda had their own press conference which I'm excited about because like Bethesda's got a lot of stuff going on right now. Doom. Like, Get ready yes. for that. Oh my god. They opened the show with Doom. And oh, they opened it with that, Doom? They opened the show with Doom. That's how you get started. And they closed and they closed the show with Fallout 4. That's and understandable. Fallout 4 was like it's Todd Howard walking out with like the most amazing swagger you've ever seen. Like he's like, boys, have I got something to show, show you. you? And he's just like ready to tackle every single point. Like because there was a lot of controversy after that trailer came out. Yeah. Because like they had a voice actor for your character, which was weird, because Bethesda games don't do that, and there was, like, speculation, um, like, there was speculation, yeah. because, like... At the very end of the trailer. Yeah, like, the very, at the very end of the trailer, the character talked. Yeah. And they don't really do that. But, uh, there was speculation, like, um, is, is the only option gonna be, can you, can you only be a male character? And, like... Which... A, no. a lot of people, a lot of people were, like up in arms about that like nobody's talking about this what, what what's going on what's what's happening and that that would have been that crappy been. that would have been a bad thing but that'd, like that'd be bad and like in in no other in like no other e3 trailer and i mean e3 presentation would you like see like them Show the character creator. Yeah. Like, they showed the character creator, which... Like, first off. For, first off, and the character creator is awesome. Like, if you haven't seen oh it, Lord. if you haven't seen it, it's like you, you sculpt the face instead of having a series of horrible, horrible sliders that completely S transmogrify yourself into a completely different thing. So, sort of like the uh, Sims, Sims 4? Yeah, the Sims 4 yeah. character creator. Only it's a little bit more controllable. Yeah, it's it's very controllable. It's surprisingly intuitive. Like mm -hmm. I I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to make anything. Like I thought I was gonna have, make a terrible horrible monster, which you can yes. make a terrible horrible monster. If you want to see monsters? Oh my go God. to the Polygon channel and look up the Monster Factory. Oh my, they are Lord. a blast. They're amazing. They're so funny. Shout out to you guys. You're probably not watching. <laughs> <laughs> probably not yet. But, uh, if, if we do this right, it may make it onto the may make it on YouTube somehow. Maybe, maybe. I don't know how to use the internet, do you? <laughs> but anyway, slightly. Yeah, but <laughs> I I have I have toyed with our first video. <laughs> yeah, well, we we got one video up somehow. <laughs> but anyway, Go check out our introduction. But yeah. Um but like uh he he walks out and like he shows the character creation and he's he, and like he not only is he taking time to talk about the character creator but he's he takes time to say and of course you can play as a female yeah because like he he's like why wouldn't you <laughs> Why on earth would you even think that that, that wouldn't be an option? We're we've, Bethesda, damn we've it. We've never done that before. Why would we mess up? <laughs> yeah. Um, the only thing the only thing they mess up with is shipping buggy products and those those are so fun. They're so hilarious. <laughs> it 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 almost feels like they they do that just because it's sort of a trademark thing for them that yeah. they just got to do. Yeah. Like, like every every Elder Scrolls you start in a prison. Yeah. Yeah. Very and like it, every <laughs> every Elder Scrolls you start in a prison every and like Fallout 3 you start in a vault which is basically a prison. Prison. And uh, New Vegas, you die. New Vegas, you die. And you're back. Purgatory is basically prison. And, I mean, uh, not necessarily dead. You lived because a bullet like ricocheted off of your skull, and you were yeah. only, like, mostly dead. Yeah. <laughs> but pur purgatory is basically prison. And uh, Fallout 4, you start in 50s suburbia, which is basically prison. <laughs> so, you know, prison. Not if you're white. Pr um... It's still prison. 
I mean, it's technically like 2077. Yeah. But it's still, it's like, it's like after the 50s, the world never aged. Yeah, basically. which it's it's a really cool concept. Like, I love the world of Fallout. Mm -hmm. Like, the world of Fallout is amazing. Like, it's I really. Wish, I wish really there was clever. more pre war. Yeah. Because you're just kind of. You make your character, and then uh, you go to see your generated baby from the from the woman and man that you create. Because you get to do both. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. If you if you want to mess if you want to mess with both of them, you can make you can make the the cutest couple you've ever seen. And then the or you scariest can, baby. Or or you can just or you can just have this this like pretty this this like pretty pretty generic. 50s female, and then this horrible, grotesque vision <laughs> that you made. <laughs> like, this just giant fat thing that you've created. Me. Yeah. Just, I, in, in the character creator, I tried to make me yeah. as close as possible, yeah. only I added my mustache and uh, beard that I won eventually, yeah. but my job won't let me. Uh, so, that's a damn shame. <laughs> damn shame. But, uh, but you actually also get to mess with your body in the character creator. Yeah, which... Which, like in most RPGs, they don't let you do. Yeah. But in this one, they let you be dumb and have a bigger hitbox. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so funny. Like, in, in Skyrim, they kind of did, like, they had they had a weight option, but it's basically, how ripped do you want to be? Yeah. Like, how jacked do you want... And it want... doesn't help that they have you, like, bound like this, <laughs> yeah. and then you put the weight up, and you're like... You're like, oh shit, I'm Hulk Hogan now. Uh, <laughs> like, how jacked do you want this cat man to be? How how powerful will Garfield be? <laughs> it's like, you choose Orc, and you're like, oh, I'm just like an average humanoid, and now I'm Warcraft Orc! Holy Lota! Lota. Yeah, well, we'll talk about the Warcraft trailer later. Oh my lord, please. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about there, that later. I think we've got different views on we, that. We do but... have different views on that. <laughs> We're gonna fight. We're gonna just punch each other. On, Use this. Punch each other on screen. But uh, <laughs> Use this fucking. So oh. we've we've been doing this video for like 17 minutes, and we ha we've only talked about the character creator. We're doing great. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're doing good job. <laughs> but uh, I like the the stuff that they showed off at at uh, at E3 was just so. Cool, like they're just like and pretty. Like it's it's good. It's better looking than fall than I thought. Like <laughs> it's it's not. It is a little rough around the edges. Like it is not. You're not playing this game because it's pretty. Like there's there's a part of me that wants to look at it and go, uh, you can tell that this game has been in development for a while mm -hmm. and. Yeah. Like Fallout, Fallout Three came out in two thousand eight, and New Vegas came out in two thousand nine, I believe. Yeah. Like it was immediately after. Yeah. And they started on four, like during New Vegas, I think. No, they start they started on four after Fallout Three because Obsidian made New Vegas. That's true. Yeah. Um. So. And then they made they made Skyrim alongside. Yeah. <clears throat> and that that well, I think Skyrim was going on at the same time Three was, but it was towards the end of it. Yeah. Uh, end of three's development cycle and immediately started on Skyrim. Yeah. Um, but the what I also feel that it's it not just like it looks old, but it's also to kind of cover up that it looks old. It has that feel of like it's kind of supposed to look that way. Yeah. Because like in the pre-war. Everything is very 50s style, so mm -hmm. it doesn't require a lot of texture because everything was very like pastel color, mm -hmm. straight color. Yeah. There's no texture in it. Everything is nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the uh, uh, the post apocalypse, everything's kind of like it used to be that pastel, and now and like, now it's, it's old and grungy. grungy. <laughs> yeah. It's 90s. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> Like, it's it's, it's, it's got some hair on the chest. It's become an angsty teenager. <laughs>